Hi, welcome to Balance Your Life. I'm Debbie Peterson, founder of The Wellness Gala. About 16 years ago, I was introduced to holistic modalities, which were desperately needed in my family at the time. The results changed my life. My mission then became to educate the public about these holistic modalities and how they can work in conjunction with traditional medicine. I started Wellness Gala events nationally because I really wanted to share what I had learned with as many people as possible. When the pandemic hit, stress and anxiety had never been higher. We could no longer have our events to spread the word about these options at a time when people really needed them the most. So my team and I developed a TV show. Each week, we'll be bringing you experts in the field of holistic modalities, integrative medicine, healthy food, beauty, and wellness. So join me along with my team, Barb and Dina, and celebrity guest host, Conchetta Bertoldi, a New York Times bestselling author and renowned medium. Hi, we're here today with Dr. Robert Kindarjian, who is a chiropractor by background and for the last 25 years has been a spiritual healer who has his own brand of intuitive energy healing. So he's gonna to explain to us a little bit about what that is and what he does to help his patients and read us a segment from his book. And most importantly, Dr. Robert is the reason that I started on this path with the Wellness Gala 15 years ago. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I can tell the story or you can. Of yeah, Go ahead. I've known Robert now for almost uh, 20 years and yeah. He is actually the reason that I am in this business, that we have this show and everything. He's the one who started everything by bringing healing to my family at a time when it was really needed. Yes. And I'm forever grateful it's for been that. It's 20 years, huh? It has, wow. well, almost. Wow. I'm rounding <laughs> a tiny bit, but yeah, um, yeah. yeah I mean, basically, yeah. I left my job in corporate America to come work for him, to right. start sharing the word. And, and here you are, you have a, <laughs> right, right. We've come a long way. We've been yes, through a lot. Yeah. But, um, you know, at the time, I didn't know any of this stuff existed. Right. right. But also, I have to add, you've also become a healer yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> where, you're really, where you're beginning to trust your intuition more and getting good. readings on people. Yeah, it's good. that's, that's right. true. That's true. But, um, you know, now we're well, professional. <laughs> yes, yes. So, anyway, it has been a long time, but it's really about telling the world about these alternative yeah. modalities yeah. and how they can be used in conjunction with traditional sure. medicine. Ultimately, it's that marriage between uh, you know, the, the holistic community and the mainstream medical community, realizing that we can help each other out. We, yes. we should work together Absolutely. rather than work separate. So, right. Uh, we're getting there, you know, compared to 20 years ago, look, yes. how, look how far we've come. Like hospitals have integrative centers, mm -hmm. a lot of medical centers have brought in uh, holistic practitioners, yeah. you know, whether it's acupuncture or meridian therapy or Reiki. Yes. So so it's it's moving forward. I know, and we have yeah. to do mention also that you are a chiropractor yes. by trade, and that's right. how you started out. Yes, yes. And tell us how you kind of segued from the chiropractic into the... Uh, spiritual work after about, <laughs> uh, 10 15 years of practice I thought I started seeing the psychosomatic connection. right right and uh, and that was very interesting to me mm -hmm. you know the psycho and I wanted to, to learn more about that and I studied it mm -hmm. and then I started seeing the psycho spiritual okay <laughs> right? so it was like it was a marriage between psychology spirituality and physical health so right uh, quite a quite an evolution there well and when you put it all together it's, yeah, it's amazing. really wonderful it really is and you get the results right and I, yeah you both get of the these results. ladies have experienced your work yes. as yes, well yes, yes yeah robert is like family right <laughs> and uh we all think or at least i know i do sacred intentions to me was channeled it was yes. just given to you oh yeah it, it's incredible i think the entire world should read it yeah i really do i like it it's a good word. <laughs> it's very straightforward. Yeah. And it's, it's I mean, very, yeah, very briefly, yes. I'll, I'll tell the audience what the book is about. Sure, that'd be great. It has 14 intentions in there. And those intentions really came from my experiences with patients. You mm -hmm. know? It's like intentions are desires, right? And desires that we want to manifest. And over the years working with so many patients, I came to realize there were certain desires that kept... Um, repeating themselves mm -hmm. in, and the themes that they brought. So I put those 14 intentions together, which have to do with healing, of course. And, uh, and, and the reason I called it sacred is because when we work on those intentions, we move to a hot, we do move ourselves to a more sacred place. Mm -hmm. We do move ourselves to more 
of our divine self, our, in our higher self. Mm -hmm. So these intentions have to do with forgiveness, self-forgiveness, uh, giving, receiving, mm -hmm. uh, hope. Uh, many of the, uh, I mean, they challenge many of the dark places that we tend to go to, such as despair and hopelessness and, and uh, self-criticism, self-hate. So, um, would you read one for us? Yeah, absolutely. I would love to. Should we let you pick? Let's, Dana, let's, ooh, favorite can I pick? let's pick I, one. I, I love them ahead. all, but you, you pick one. How about self forgiveness? I live by that. Right. I quote it all the time. All right. It's especially yeah. to the young people I work with. I just yeah, think it's brilliant. Right. Yeah. yeah, this is the book for the audience. Yeah. Okay. Intention number six. And these intentions are really like a page or two. I kept mm -hmm. it Simple. very short. The whole book is less than 35 pages. I mean, most right. of it is. But it's very just to very the point. brief, but yeah, to the point. It has like a poetic tune. I mm -hmm. don't elaborate. I just go right to the essence of yes. the issue. And you also have it on CD. For yes, those I do. Who prefer to yes. listen, which is yes, fantastic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. And actually, if you go to Amazon, I believe you can get it on Kindle. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I declare an intention to unconditionally forgive myself and release all self-blame. As a spiritual being on earth learning and growing, it is likely that I will make mistakes, for I am human. I see and hold the mistakes as growing opportunities. The mystics say mistakes are the bumpy road to God. I unconditionally forgive myself for the past because with the maturity that I possessed in the past, I made the best decisions I could. If I could have made better decisions, I would have. I am more conscious today than I was in the past and therefore I will make better decisions in the future. To not forgive myself means to freeze the energy of a past event in my body and cells and become drained, dejected and frozen in the past. By forgiving myself, I liberate the frozen energy to restore vitality and joy in my body and life. God is not a punishing and unforgiving God. God wants me to forgive myself as long as I have learned from my remorse and gained the lessons and wisdom from my past. As I unconditionally forgive myself, I move closer to my heart with humility and self-love and feel the desire and zest for life and living. That's intention six. I love Great. It. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Thank that you. Was wonderful. That was channeled. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's I mean, just. It's <laughs> and also, um, Dr. Robert has life. Yeah, I wrote and life and afterlife. You know, I uh, I saw Shaker Intentions first. Yes, I, I I wrote this one second, mm -hmm. and it really had to do with it's a Q and A, and it was questions that patients ask would ask me, and I and I felt it necessary to do it in a Q and A format, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it really has to do with like life decisions that mm -hmm. are that are. Uh, I want to use the word like self-enhancing, right? Mm -hmm. And and the reason I touched a bit on the afterlife is because, I, you know, I know you had Conchetta Bertoli here, right? Okay. And kind of following up on yeah. that, mm -hmm. it's like what happens when we go to the spirit world, a lot of us come back very quickly. We don't stay there to learn the necessary mm -hmm. lessons before we come back. And in this book, what I wanted to talk about was not so much what happens in the, I mean, what the afterlife looks like, but rather stay there, <laughs> learn the lessons, <laughs> don't rush back. Right. And the masculine right. heart right. is something I wrote, I believe, 10 years ago. Mm. It really had to do with, it, it was kind of a personal book for me. It, it has a lot to do with the father-son relationship. And mm -hmm. uh, what we find, there, there are so many books out there about women and women's issues. It's like there's and so yes. little books about men's mm -hmm. issues, right? True. And and when I was working with my male patients and doing men's groups, I found it necessary to write this to, so to kind of help them, ref, like reflect by reading it to reflect, and see how it is they hurt themselves, mm -hmm. and how and how it is they can liberate themselves. So and, and and you know I call it the masculine heart because it is about broken hearts. All right, well that's fantastic. Yeah. All right, well thank you so much for being here with us today. It was a joy. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Being with all three of you. Thank and, you. And where yeah. can we find your books? They can go to my website, drrrobertheels.com, 
and and hopefully we will be putting the seminars and the workshops Great. On, on those uh, right. calendar of events and make right. that happen. Right, Terrific. so it's drrobertheels.com. Right, thank What's you. you by my son, Andrew, many moons ago. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> thanks to Andrew. That's right. All right, thanks for watching and we'll be right back. How are you today, Deb? Good. Okay, I'm good. I'm looking forward to what you're making. So today, I'm going to make a cashew ginger carrot soup. Yum. And it's super, super, super healthy. All right, and it's so easy. This is one of the easiest things you'll ever make. It's okay. also really great to make during the holidays. You can make this ahead of time and then have it for a dinner before your holiday dinner. So it's mm. already done, it's healthy, it's easy. So the ingredients that go into this are carrots, celery, about a cup of cashews. That's what makes it creamy. This is a secret. Oh, by the way, this is also gluten-free, vegan, oh, and okay, dairy-free. So anybody can eat this. Perfect. Um, a chopped onion, you're gonna chop that up, and then some fresh ginger, mm. and about three cloves of garlic. Okay. You're going to want one tablespoon at least of lemon juice, this gives it a little zip, and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric, anti-inflammatory, which we all know yes. is so good for us. Definitely. Salt to taste, I would say a teaspoon. And again, pepper to taste, uh, a quarter to a half a teaspoon is mm. perfect. So what you're going to want to do, oh, I'm sorry, and you're going to want three cups of water or you can use vegetable broth. Mm. I just have water here today. Okay. You're going to put all of this in a pot and you are going to cook it for approximately 20 minutes or until the vegetables are soft. Okay. You're going to then just put it into a blender or use an immersion blender mm -hmm. or a food processor. You're going to process the whole thing. It's going to be nice and creamy. Right. And then I have one that is already done here. I put a little bit of celery on top. You can do garnish. cilantro, yeah, for a garnish or parsley and drop a few cashews in. And basically, that is it. That looks great. It is so delicious. Take a taste. Okay. Tell me if and you like super it. easy, right? Super. It doesn't get it doesn't get much easier than this unless you're opening a can. Mm. That is delicious. Isn't that delicious? Yeah, that it really is a perfect blend. Yeah, it really is. Mm. Okay. Absolutely delicious. So. All right. Great. Give it well, a thank try. you. You're so yeah. welcome. Enjoy. You hear and read a lot about the road to motherhood but in my experience, fertility and postpartum anxiety are glossed over by many experts. I'm Dr. Christine Dollahan. I'm an intuitive energy healer, a trained postpartum doula with a PhD in transpersonal psychology. If you're looking for support before, during, or after pregnancy, please contact me. I'd love to help you create a life with your child full of confidence and purpose. We're really excited today to talk with Arielle Sancherico, founder of Living Well with Arielle, a health and wellness coach and a women's wellness advocate. Welcome, Arielle. Yes, Thanks for being welcome. here. Thank you. It's a yeah. pleasure. I'm so excited to be on the show today. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to talking about a very important topic that's extremely near and dear to my heart. And yes, please love to talk a little bit about my own journey. So okay, I, great. as you mentioned, I am a um, health and nutrition coach. Mm -hmm. I um, specialize in women's health, especially women going through the perimenopausal or menopausal journey. Yes, that's oh, what we're so happy we you're here. Yes. <laughs> and we've talked offline and you know, I'm extremely, this is something near and dear to my heart <laughs> right now at this age. And I'm sure a lot of our viewers. One of the things that I've found um, to my disappointment is that this topic, although it's so prevalent, and especially in today's world, you know how they say it's not my mother's menopause, right. It's, right. or it's not even our grandmother's menopause. I uh -huh. mean, these, these, I feel the situations that women are facing today for a myriad of reasons. You know, we could talk forever about the toxins in the air and the changes in our bodies and the stress that we're all under mm. in, in this generation, right, in sure. this time of the world. But it really is true, and I feel that despite all of these, this evidence, and despite all of the women like yourselves and your audience that out there that I'm sure are listening in, going, "Oh my goodness, somebody's actually talking about this <laughs> right, subject," yeah, addressing it. Yeah. I feel for all of this information and with the internet and everything, it is still not talked about. Did you have problems with this yourself? Is that how you got started? 
So my health coaching journey goes way, way back. In okay. my early life, in my 20s, I went undiagnosed with Lyme disease for many, many oh. years. Oh. I became gravely ill. I went to doctor after doctor after doctor until I reached one that was supposed to be so highly regarded. Now, and now this is no respect to the medical community, but it has to be talked about. I remember the doctor telling me, you need to take a walk around the park and go have some warm milk. And what? He, here oh. I was. No joke. Here I was presenting to him with a myriad of symptoms, physiological, mm. biological, emotional, mental. I was literally falling apart at 23 years old. Yeah, no good. And I was dismissed. Mm. I took it upon myself. There was no internet at the time. I took mm. it upon myself to become my own advocate. Mm -hmm. I went to bookstores. I went to libraries. I researched. It was like a light went on inside me and it said, you're meant to do this. You, mm, this right. is your journey. It sent me on a personal trajectory throughout life with a new mission. And okay. I knew it deep in my heart, I had to be a healer. Fast forward, I actually helped myself through the Lyme disease with learning about alternative medicine, holistic healing, diet and nutrition, and mm -hmm. I spent 25 years of my life healing myself. Right, so, so what do you do now? You help us get solutions, I'm hoping. So <laughs> yes, my focus is on women of this age going mm -hmm. through hormonal imbalance, yes. specifically perimenopause and menopause. M one of my first recommendations and women right now can start doing this, is to change your diet. Focus mm. on an anti-inflammatory diet. Get as many processed foods out as you possibly can. Okay. Eat organic and clean as much as you can. I can't stress that enough. In mm. my practice, food is medicine, and it truly is. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. The next thing that I would recommend is to try to remove as many chemicals from your life as possible. Okay. I know that's hard. I know we all live in a world that's based on plastics and okay. you know, every type of chemical that's out there in all of our day-to-day -day usage. But if you can just start to move towards a cleaner home, cleaner products, mm -hmm. that would help your body Tremendously. immensely. Huh. Another of one of my biggest beliefs and that I've experienced benefits personally, and I've seen it in my practice, is the use of high-grade nutraceutical supplements, which I do recommend to my clients, okay. always in conjunction with their medical practitioner, because it would be out of scope for a health coach to actually prescribe anything. Right. But so those are the three target areas. Okay, that sounds good. So maybe you can help me with my hot flashes. <laughs> Debbie, I would love to help you with your hot flashes. Sorry, I'm just like, ah, nothing has helped. I know. We've, yeah, we've right. And we that. have talked about that a little bit offline. And, and, and she has better, more ideas than just the fan. Yes, she does. Yeah, blowing the fan on <laughs> me all fan, night. That's while what we all do. Yeah, well, right. Let me tell you, there are so many things that women can do, and I think one of the problems out there, and which is why I'm so frustrated with the medical community, is that they don't offer any solutions. Well, I know there's hormone replacement, but I'm really not sure if I should do that. Well, that's good that you're questioning it. There is the availability for all women to try hormone use. You have the standard hormones and you have the bioidentical hormones, mm -hmm. which are sourced out of natural products, they say. Uh, yeah, so that's right. probably a better option. But I <laughs> let me stress, they do come with risks. And mm -hmm. the women out there that are concerned about cancers or blood clots or the increased risk of stroke or heart attack, that is a real risk. My suggestion, do your research, do your homework, read books, go online, talk to doctors, talk mm -hmm. to other women. Mm -hmm. Everybody is so chemically and um, biologically different that mm -hmm. what works for you might not work for Debbie, what right. works for Debbie might not work for me. That's what I offer, that's my area of specialty. Great, well, we definitely need your help. Let me tell you, I've walked in your shoes and probably all of the women in your audience, and I'm still standing. Okay. <laughs> and they can too. And and the biggest message I have for anyone listening, anyone hearing this and going, that's me, is three things. Number one, you are definitely not alone. Right. Number two, you are definitely heard. So don't think that you're going to live through this unheard and dismissed. And number three, there are solutions and options for you. Do not feel that things are hopeless and your life is over because that's how I felt and that made me want to, even if I could reach one person and change that for them, that's what I'm here to do. Yeah, that's that's awesome. fabulous because people do, they think that there's no solution. They think they just have to live with this. And it's, right, It's sweating true. every night Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and much more. Yes, well, I'm excited to do what you recommend and then I'm gonna come back and talk about my results. What, how long do I need to change? 
Well, I would say that my protocols take anywhere between two weeks and two months to really feel the benefits. Okay, okay. great. All right, so I'll come back in a month. We'll come back and we'll check out what happens. Yes, I'd love to create a custom plan for you and we'll Thank see how you. you do. I am so excited. Yeah, Me too. Great. All right, so Ariel, tell everybody how they can find out about you. Well, I do have a website. It's my company name, livingwellwithariel.com. Well, that's fantastic. Well, thank yeah. you for being here with us today. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for yeah. inviting me to this platform. And hopefully your audience out there yeah. have heard some of these these tips and they'll receive a lot of benefits. Yes. So yes. anybody suffering, <laughs> call, call Ariel. Ariel. <laughs> and I'll let you know how I do. And we'll be right back after these messages. It's time to unwind at Harmony Within Massage Therapy, located in Westwood, New Jersey. Relieve your headaches, stress, and pain with one of our many massage, skin care, and acupuncture services. Our professional staff are committed to improving your wellness in a calming atmosphere. Treat yourself to a customized session today at Harmony Within Massage Therapy. And use promo code wellness for 15% off your next visit. Do you suffer from headaches, stiff, sore joints, digestive disorders, recurring infections, emotional stress, or sleepless nights? Try Enzyme Nutrition. It's scientific, personalized, and has no side effects. Visit Susan Richter, RN, at nextlevelhealing.com. Read her reviews or reach out directly at 973-586-0626 to learn more. Hi, everybody. We're here today at Poofy Organics in East Rutherford, New Jersey, and I'm with Christina, the owner, and of course, Dina, and we're gonna take a tour of the facility and see all the great products that they make and find out how they do everything. So Christina, tell us, I mean, I know you have a sustainable organic company, so that's amazing in today's society. We really need this stuff. So tell us, how did you start it? So I started when my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. Okay. We found that all of the products were laden with toxic chemicals mm -hmm. and we wanted to do better. So I went to the store, I looked at other products to per possibly purchase, okay. and there were none that were okay with me. Really? So, yeah. Mm. Um, I was kind of disappointed in what was on the shelf. Mm -hmm. And so I figured, all right, what else am I going to do? And I started making my own. And you came up with all the recipes yourself? Tell us like, I what did. the process was. So the process was I started looking online. Thankfully, mm -hmm. we, you know, we had the web at that, that moment. Mm -hmm. And I started looking for recipes and then kind of tweaking them on my own to mm -hmm. fit what I thought was more like traditional products. And then I went from there. You know, I went with a simple recipe first and then the recipes got slightly more difficult. And how many products do you actually have in your whole line? So we have a few hundred, wow. counting all of the nail polish. We have uh, okay. over 100 colors of nail polish. Yeah. Um, and we make all of the products here with the exception of the polish. I mean, I love the nail polish. I love the color. I'm gonna... Yeah. yeah. So here's the polish. Yeah, it's know. a great color, right? It's got Not some today, sparkle in it. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. And you also have um, other cosmetics too. We do. We have an entire so line of cosmetics. Um, oh, there's I a like lip, gloss. lip gloss. Okay. Yeah. That's but we have BB cream, we have foundation, blush, oh, lipstick, wow. mascara, pretty much anything you can think of, eyeshadow, um, and all made here. So, okay, so everything's organic. Earlier, I was drawn to this, and you said that this yeah. was a hot seller. Yes, yeah, so that's the pink peony. It's a brand new scent for us. It smells, it smells fantastic. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's got extracts of peony, of course, and okay. then um, rhododendron, carnation, and some, um, I believe, blackberry. Um, but it was our best seller for Mother's Day. Like I yeah, said, it's I our new imagine. product. Yeah. I can imagine. It's a really great scent, fun and um, floral, but not over the top. Right. And now, are you in some other retail stores, or how does this work when people want to order your products? So they can order right online at okay. poofyorganics.com, okay. or you can find a rep to help you choose out of all of the hundreds of products that we have, which That's are the right. best fit for you. Where did the name come from? So the name came from my daughter. She had poofy hair when she was little. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna kill me for this. But uh, that's how it came about, poofy, because I named it after her. So you created the first two products. Mm -hmm. how, what, how did you get from the two products for mom to launching this? What, how did that happen? So I, it was really by mistake. 
I started making the products and then I said, you know what, there's a need for it. Mm -hmm. Let me try my hand at selling a few of them. Okay. And at that time I tried on eBay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's how we began. Mm -hmm. um, and then as we created more and more products, we went through Environmental Working Group. Yes. They have a skincare database mm -hmm. that essentially rates the products and the safety. So you can go on to skindeep.org, I believe it is, and you can type in your product and you can find out how safe the products are. And they rate wow. them according to the ingredients mm -hmm. and the research that's been done previously on those ingredients. And I think that we should um, really mention that you did very well in that rating, right? Out of the I gate. Mean, that's, I'm sure that's, that's, that's that had to be, right? Tremendous. How you expanded. That, that is incredible. And really, I used, that was one of my research tactics to, sure. you know, finding mm -hmm. out which ingredients would be okay for these products. I started searching, okay, what ingredients do they rate as zero hazard or mm -hmm. one, which is pretty much your best, and going from there and formulating the products based on the rating factors. Were you surprised what you found? I was shocked. Okay. I was shocked, yeah. especially because a lot of the ingredients that they allow here in the U.S., they don't allow in other countries. Yes. Huh. It's interesting. Yeah. Based so, on those. did your mom start using all the products? She did, and you know, nowadays, really, this is all we use. Right. How right. is she doing now? She's doing great. She's part of Poofy Organics, as yeah. my father is and my brother. And oh, I that's think great. That, a family business. Yes, yeah, and that is the big, biggest success. That is, I mean, that's yeah. fantastic. That must just make you feel so proud every day. Yeah, we get to see each other every day. We work with each other every day, which that's could great. be a blessing and a curse. <laughs> yeah, right. But you've been doing but, this almost 14 years. Yes, yeah, so we've been doing it a long time. Obviously, you're doing something right here. Yep, we love it. The company just keeps expanding, and you just seem to be adding more and more products all the time. Yeah. What is the newest product? Because that's so, exciting. Yes. So my newest product is an eco-friendly, fully recycled lash. And we call it Eco Lash. Yes. And I'm wearing them. And they look <laughs> beautiful. Yes, we both Thank are. you. They really yes, do. We both are. Yes. And they're, tell us about them. They're made with completely recycled materials mm -hmm. and they're segmented lashes. So you can basically um, cut them and they glue right onto your lashes. The glue is toxic free, the primer's toxic free, um, and they're really easy to apply and take off. So it comes in this travel case, okay. and so you will get an applicator okay. and a lash primer, which is USDA organic, a lash remover, also USDA organic, just make the lashes you made everything everything that goes with them it's mm -hmm. incredible we have a glue that's toxic free so mm -hmm. it doesn't have any of those nasty chemicals it doesn't smell like that to the typical eyelash glue and then it comes with a little travel case and then a spoolie because what you'll want to do is you'll want to separate the lashes before you apply them where can people order any of your fabulous products and find out more about you so you can find out more about us and order our products at poofyorganics.com. Wonderful. All right, and we'll be right back after this. Body. Mind. Spirit. Full Spectrum International is here to help you feel relaxed and renew your presence. With everything in the world, you need a break. Call and book an appointment now. Full Spectrum International, raising positive vibrations. The Eclectic Boutique in downtown Montclair has handmade items locally sourced from area artists and entrepreneurs. It's the perfect place to shop for unique gifts such as one-of-a-kind jewelry, clothing, crystals, and organic skin and food products, plus much, much more. This charming store has something special for everyone, so stop in today or visit our website to see our merchandise and learn about classes and event offerings. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. See you next week on Balance Your Life.